It was like a, a little toy, it was a three-year-old toy. And I kept pressing it and, and I recorded it on my phone. And I recorded it on my phone, put it on my computer, and then made this beat from it. <laughs> Not saying that I don't think I'm taken seriously right now, but it's the whole thing of of college, you know, the college rapper scene that I'm trying to get out of. My first song that that got popular was called Live Life, and I came out with a video. We filmed it on campus. Don't get me wrong, it was a lot of fun. It's a fun song. It's just so relatable, because uh, any kid in college is going through the same thing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Bacardi and Brad, Rhino, are you Yes, yes. Very deep, very deep. It's just, yeah, as I studied music, I started to dislike frat rap and get into real music. And just frat rap is very shallow, and I want to not be shallow. I'm trying to basically put out some songs where I seem more of an artist and less of just, you know, the typical college rapper. And it really is, a, I'm in a stage where I'm searching for my, my, what is my style, what is my genre, what am I trying to make Matt Easton represent? We are the gray area. Who's that album for? Right, because there's it's a lot of different, I mean, each song is different. Each song is a different genre of hip hop. Just kind of like a, look, this is, like, you know, look what I can do kind of album. Like, look at our talent, look what we can do. And it was kind of just, um, we were trying stuff out. Um, this one we're about to release, it's called Jet Life. Mark my words now, it's gonna do very well. And I wrote it when um, when I did the show X Factor and and I did well and I made it past the judges and I was I made it to boot camp and I start imagining this life that I'm that I think is about to happen, this jet life, and then I got eliminated, you know, in the top sixty and it was just like wow I I wish this was about to happen. It was everything that I had imagined was in the song. But arguably, three years later, you're releasing a single that's a lot like... Live Life. Right. So I just, I had made the Jet Life instrumental and I just, I made the song without thinking this is revisiting Live Life. That will, I think that will reach a million before Live Life does. I think so. Like your ten, all the lyrics from your top most ten most popular songs. Yeah. And put it into a word cloud. <laughs> but I mean, the the lyrics with power. I mean, the word one is a powerful word just because of this this documentary that I'm working on. It's called One, and the meaning behind the word one, and how it could just it stands for one person, one community, one one environment, one country, one globe. Just the way everyone, you know, we're all one, we're all somehow related. It's a powerful word, the word one. Um, yeah, the other words though, yeah, very simple. I don't think nah is even a word. <laughs>